Hi Cancerians! Welcome to my channel. We're doing your 24th to the 25th. We're gonna take trend this lightly like what I mentioned. We'll, we'll see how far I can go. Okay. Um, b before the eclipse comes in. Okay. So. Mm. Good morning America. Good morning world. This is your daily sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay. Let's see what's going on. Just be careful. There's gonna be a lot of misunderstanding probably happening around already. Oh! Also, um, somewhere gonna be here, we're gonna put a link towards the Lunar Eclipse video, so do watch that, okay? It's a four-part special for the 27th. It, it, it's helpful, okay? So give yourself um, how say, an open mind and watch it. Just give it a, give it a try, okay? You're gonna click your, your you know, your cross-watching other stuff anyway, so might as well cross-watch that, right? Okay, here we go. This is gonna be for the Cancerians. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. Here we go. Oh, really, Cancerians? This is what you got me? That's good. Cover the lovers. <laughs> okay, that's good. I like that. That's where you want to go. Okay. So you want to address um, uh, a situation with your partner, but of course, the lovers, remember for me, you're not with that person. You lost the person, okay? Um, don't ask why, but that's how I read it. Okay, so you lost the person, you lost the love of your life, especially it's a first card. It could be Gemini or you're, you're a Gemini Cancer and Cusp. You did lose the love of your life. Yes, because it's a first card. And you lost the first card. So meaning the love of your life is lost. Okay, and, you know, it doesn't mean it's forever lost. Like maybe there's a missed opportunity. There's something between the two of you that didn't work out. Okay, and you lost them. But they're going to be found. That's what I feel also here. They're gonna be looking at you. There's, there's, there is this thing between the two of you. The, the connection is real, but there's this like, you know how you can watch someone from a glass. Well, I hope you're not watching this person really from a glass mirror or or, or glass something. It's like you can touch. You can't. You you wanna feel them, but you know. I hope they're not in an ICU or anything. But it's almost like I can feel you trying to touch them. Like from from a glass, and you can't feel them. I mean, you can feel them only through glasses. It means also that like, you're just watching them from your phone. That's a glass right there. Instead of reaching out. Okay, know what that means. Let me see the other person. Oh, wow. Nine of Cups. This person is at their K2 right now. Well, you know, in their dance. Dance, dance. Nine of Cups. Um, They have everything that they have ever wanted in their life. Or this can be you. Um, because this is emotional fulfillment only to find out that that is not emotionally fulfilling because they're by themselves. Not about like, oh, you know, being alone is not good. This energy is about they would look for the Ten of Cups. They would want to share it, right? Meaning, um, as far as like K2 over here, okay, because, oh, K2, I believe is in Cancer right now, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me check. I believe so. K2 is in Cancer, right? Rahu, Rahu, North Node in Capricorn, K2 in Cancer, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, right? Or is it reverse? Is it K two, Capricorn, Rahu in Cancer? I would have to check. I just want to be sure. Cause the app, we'll see. Okay, and I I like to chill. Okay, I don't want to um rush myself right now. Um, and if only I can see the transit. Okay, oh yeah, I can go to the charts. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, well, I can't see, but I believe... Okay, so then just correct me if I'm wrong. Then, um... Okay. Ooh, okay, sorry. I got interested. Okay, so let me just see here. So... Because this will help you. Okay, so K2 is in... Capricorn and then Rahu is in Cancer. Okay, so K2 in Capricorn and Rahu in Cancer. Okay, so this person could have, um, okay, Moon in Capricorn. Okay, oh, I know what that means, Cancerian. <laughs> okay, so. Or an Earth energy, even it can be a Scorpio, even okay. Now the only reason why I give you that, if you watch the lunar eclipse, you would understand more. Can see it, okay? For some people, it's like oh, uh, I don't, I don't understand that. Well, 
you know, you're here not just to listen, you're here to learn. Okay, just letting you guys know. So with the dynamics over here, they're finding their fulfillment, okay, um, and they're not being satisfied with it. But this can be you also, okay? So this is hitting you hard. Because if you're connecting with a Capricorn, it's, the, it's they're hitting hard also. Oh, wow, it's positive, see? Remember how I say that the Six of Swords goes to your Rahu, okay? So, okay. There you go. You guys are going to your Rahu, okay? You guys are treading to the Seven of Cups, okay? Because it's nine and the Seven of Cups. You guys are not talking, but you guys are going now to the direction of identifying what is the connection between the two of you. What is it all about? You guys don't even have to stop to each other. You guys don't even have to speak to each other, but you guys are already there. You guys are already in the cycle, okay? Meaning you're already in the matrix. You're already in a dun 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 dun. The other person here, the Page of Cups, can be a younger water sign. But regardless, this is the person falling in love. Either you fall in love with them or they're falling in love with you. Either or. Because they have a lot of love and they have a lot of give. So they want to love. Okay. That's that person. And then for you right now here in this person's energy, in this other side over here, you probably will take it, but not really take it. You're just going to go with it. Okay. It's like, oh, I'll see where this goes. You know, that's the energy. Let me see here underneath the Six of Swords. The Five of Cups. Oh, interesting. Because. There was a missed opportunity. Five of Cups is a missed opportunity. That's why I told you, you lost this person. This is, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not labeling, oh, you nev will never fall in love with another person again if you lost this person. Not at all. You can love every time. The next day you can love, you know, you love yourself. That's it. But you would feel that you have lost the love of your life. That's a big difference. You will love more than, okay, if you lost this person. But you will feel the loss of your life i mean the love of your life over here you got me or they will feel that it's a feeling it's not the whole certainty like you will never fall in love okay just to get that clear the other person here emperor wow this is someone who's successful a business owner mature um controlling also and immature with regards to their feelings a person doesn't know how to express much okay and remember, I told you, like, they could be, um, you know, getting a lot of emotional fulfillment here. These are different things that they wish. They are capable of getting what they want. Like, I'm an emperor. I get this. I get that. I get this. Okay. With the Nine of Cups and the Page of Cups, they do love you, but it's almost like you're this. It's something that they did is disappointing you also. If it's not a misopportunity, I mean, because you guys are still here. So it's not like you lost, lost them. You feel it, but you guys are still there. Okay. And you're feeling like it's a missed opportunity. It's like, I could have worked it out, but you guys are already working it out. The whole no talking is already working it out. Okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, I'm going to continue this reading, consider, and as we move forward with these energies. Next to this is the snippets, and hopefully somewhere out here is the link towards the Lunar Eclipse video. All right? Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Snippets now. Person has pride, ego, about getting things the way that they're supposed to. And the judgment. So, I'm accusing. They found love. You will find yes. love. Are here for there is love between the two of you. The Ten of Pentacles. You see, it materialized. You guys are really in the Ten of Pentacles. So this is the vein. This is can be.